abundance. You asked for time. Is this long enough? Yes, my head's clearer. Though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, I mean. Not today. You've got questions. You might as well ask them. You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I had a contract for Colivan, in the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Winrathos. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. I know Katerina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it. Especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Rook. Such as? I owe you a debt, for one. And after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. The crossroads can be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you see a spirit around called the caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so I try not to do it much. No one was in the ossuary by choice, not even the demons. We both did what we had to, to get out of there. So, if you're an abomination... I suppose I should get used to that. But, I heard that only mages can get possessed by demons. I'm skilled with a blade, but I promise you, without spite, I have the magical talent of a brick. There must be some difference between a demon deceiving their way into a body and being forced into one. Only Zara knows for sure. We should know. Is there anything in particular that upsets Spite? Not getting his way. Getting his way and not liking the outcome. Sounds like a child. Have you seen a child when they realize they don't control the world? Except Spite's anger has real power behind it. Leave Spite to me. If he's trapped in this world, 
He has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods, magic, politics. Hmm, things are going to get very bloody. Always eager for your business. Come back soon. Occupied. The insult of it. It's more than insulting. It's salt in the wound. And that is my purview. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt. But more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? Forgive Taya. She gets testy when a contract is delayed. Neither of you strike me as the bloodthirsty sort. Our shared enemies deserve our worst. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord butchered that rata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that. With the help of gods or... Something else. Despite it being the outcome, assassination is not about killing, it's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free.
You're in charge? Antiva has a king. When the power of a king is enforced by armies, Antiva has no army. It has the crows. There's a reason Antivan coins have portraits of guild leaders, not royalty. We're patriots. Crows can't field a battalion, but we protect our nation our way. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the Butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped. Where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information. Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, killing him isn't the contract. Butcher Dothrata. What do you know about him? The Antam army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the Butcher himself is odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. The gods care about taking Treviso? The Butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Antam. But Antam distrust magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. Helping the crows helps everyone in the long run. What's the first step to your message? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something the Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drown District, so that's a place to start. Find our Crow and help with his contract. Find your Crow? Then what? We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The Crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the Drown District. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for one so young. Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. I suppose it is. Do you think the elves made it? It didn't seem to winter. I think so. I wonder what it was built for. Originally, I mean. Whatever it was meant for, it's a bit of misery now. Right. Not even an army stops the Treviso market. So many things you could buy. How do you choose? I've got wares from all over the world, if you'd like to take a look. You must see things from all over. Cafe lighter? Hmm, good night for it.
If the Butcher wants Treviso to thrive, he needs to let ships sail freely. Bunch of anti am stalking on my way to work. Demanded to know who I was and where I was going. What gives him the right? There's the place. Keep your eyes open. We may not be the only ones interested. He was my cousin! We got on. Watch! We are found! Attack! Don't worry. Here at the Argo Centers. You with the cars? Yes! Kill them! Kill the Artar! <laughs> That's done. Are you Jacobus? Darren, my cousin. They. Please, you have to finish Darren's contract. It's about the butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then, someone has to finish this for Dareth. Please. We will take care of it. Go back to the diamond. I will. Just. Just give me a minute. We should. That note said Dareth should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Teir and Viago. Just follow the marks. There will be a trail of marks left by previous crows. It will lead us right to it. I spotted something on the walls. Earlier, I mean. Let's go look. A crow mark? Perfectly thrown. That's got to be Dareth's trail. Keep an eye out. Another mark this way. Wow! Even during an occupation, the market is still pretty busy. I meant to pick up more spices. Another time.
don't have to answer this if you don't want to, Lucanus, but how did the Venatori stick you with Spike? They fed me something. Like he was a parasite in uncooked meat. Here's another crow mark. What were we talking about? They fed me something. Like he was a parasite in uncooked meat. You know, I spent lots of time around demons, but I've never heard of them being used that way. Zara said she got the idea from some cult in Orlay. They used it on seekers who are immune to demons. This is where the marks lead. Dareth's contract must be here somewhere. The butcher is making poison. Comic. Comic? That stuff gives you nightmares. Chips at your mind. Uh, if I were the butcher, would it be a good way to keep people in line? We cannot let the butcher unleash this on Treviso. He won't. The Anton brought in a Comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. We stop him there before this goes any further. The Antam ordered me out of my house. I don't have anywhere else to go. Don't look down. Back on the ground soon. Strike again, Oh, is it time again? Great. Bellara. Oh, we did it. The Venatori were growing demons and people? That's what was happening in the ossuary? Zara was trying to get certain type.
The Venatori were growing demons and people? That's what was happening in the ossuary? Zara was trying to get certain types of demons. Some are harder to summon than others, I guess. They were waiting for Spite to break out of my body like I was in a I'm glad he didn't. Why didn't he? We're in. Let's find the Comic Master. Is dead. Thank goodness. Hate those things. First things first. Let's destroy the rest of the poison. 
Then we figure out what was going on here. That's the last of the poison, thankfully. Let's look for anything else that explains what's happening. Wait. This note says that wasn't all the Carmack. The Butcher's angry because some went missing. What? Who stole it? No idea. But the note does mention the Butcher's inside traitor. The occupation had help. Tear and Viago need to know they were right. You out of your minds? Someone had to act. I told you crows to stay out of this. Out of what? Defending our home? If we had a stronger civil government instead of a bunch of circus criminals, the Antom wouldn't have a foothold in the first place. You're responsible for the city? This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. My concern is how you've endangered the city. We're defending Antiva. These protections are in place for the good of everyone. You act without oversight. We crows are the oversight. And yet here we are, awash in Antom. And now you've angered the Butcher. There's also the gods. Excuse me? They're using the Antarm and making them monsters. And the Butcher? You two were right. He had help taking the city. Human traitors. I didn't want to believe it. Killing the Butcher does nothing if someone could just sell us out again. I'd start right here. You Talons are known for infighting and betrayal. You're accusing them? One of their crows died for this contract. That's enough. Rook, thank you for finishing that contract. The only reward we have is to ask you for more. We're allies. Of course I'll help. Ivenchi is right about one thing. The Butcher will not like that we're fighting back. We need to be ready. Rook, I will have every crow tracking this traitor and the gods, and we will send word when we find something. The stakes are too high. This should be left to proper officials. Go back to filing trade receipts, Ivenchi. The crows rule Antiva. And Treviso will be free. With or without you, Governor.
Your coin helps. And there's some good bargains out there for you. Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Sounds like fun. The Shadow Dragons have a hideout in Docktown. We should check in, see if there's news on the Venatori. If the Venatori move, the Shadows will hear it first. Meet you in Docktown. Manifestation.